So he revolted and he succeeded in oosting the Portuguese. So you are Muslims today, Alhamdulillah, had it not been in the 15th century or so, all would have been dipped in the water and taken out as Christians and all today you are eating pieces of bread in what is called the Holy Communion. He said, this is the flesh of Jesus. You would be drinking wine and said, this is the blood of Jesus. That would have been your pastime every Sunday morning. Eating the flesh of Jesus and drinking the blood of Jesus. Alhamdulillah, you are safe from that. You can never thank Allah enough for that. So, they, are, they want to convert you. They are not just satisfied you are slaving for them. You can do their work at, the, at their bidding, at the double. They are not satisfied. They must have you converted. And this is an experience, an eternal experience the Muslims are having all over the world. We Muslims, we are telling the Christians in my country that we Muslims, we believe in Jesus. Hazrat Isa alayhi salam. We say Isa alayhi salam. Isa, Jesus, may peace be upon him. That we believe in him. We believe that he was one of the mightiest messengers of God. We believe that he was born miraculously without any male intervention, a miracle of Allah's creation. We believe that he gave life to the dead by God's permission and he healed those born blind and the lepers by God's permission. And we believe that Allah say, that he gave life to the dead and Allah saved him from an ignoble death on the cross. Does that satisfy the Christians? No. It doesn't satisfy them. Closest to the Christian. We are also closest to the Jew. Amazing, amazing situation. That oil and water. We are claiming affinity, relationship with both. And it's, it's the truth. There are no Jews here that I'm trying to flatter you. Or no Christians, I take it, that I'm trying to flatter you. I'm not trying to flatter anybody. This is the true position. We are the closest to the Jew. The Yahudi. In our concept of the divinity of God Almighty. The Jew says that God Almighty is absolutely one. We say we believe that he is one. They say he is Echad, we say he is Ahad. Same. It's the same word meaning the same thing. It's a linguistic difference. Ahad, Echad. Same. They say God is unique, we say God is unique. He says, God is not seen at any time. No man can see God and live. And we agree with him. He says, we must not eat the flesh of swine. We say, we will not eat the flesh of swine. He says, no eating of blood. We say, we won't eat blood. He says, circumcision. We say, we all circumcised. The Maldivians, do they circumcise? They do? Yes. We are agreed. In the Muslim world, we are going together. Does that satisfy them? No. No. That doesn't satisfy The Christians... When we say we believe in Jesus, He is the Masih, the Masihullah, nothing satisfies them. They want you to be baptized, put you in the water and take you out, put you in as Muslim and take you out as Christian. Transformation. Now, my, uh, the, the, the sad experience of my people, see, I come I, from India originally. I come originally from India, from the west coast of India. You know Bombay? You see it on the map. Bombay, a little above Bombay is a small port called Surat. I come from that area. I migrated to South Africa in 1927. Most of you were not born then. I migrated there then. And most of my life I spent there. But I originate on the Indo-Pakistan subcontinent. Now the sad experience that my people had was that when the British conquered India they realized that at any time anybody will give them trouble it will be the Muslims because power, rule, dominion was wrenched out of their hands and once you have tasted power you yearn for it once more you want to have it again you tasted it, power is very sweet, very pleasant you remember it over and over again. You want it. 
So, and the Muslims were a militant people compared to the Hindus of the time. They were then, in India, they were as docile as the cows that they were worshipping. I understand you have no cows here. You have no cows. But you know what a cow looks like. You people do know. Yes. You know, it's amazing. <laughs> you have no cows in the country. My people are worshipping the cow in India. You haven't got them. So they were docile. You know, the cow is a very docile animal. Docile, you know, very nice. <laughs> like the good Maldivians, you know, very nice, kind hearted. It's not a very good quality. Oh, 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 oh,